In the previous video, I had highlighted on the optical network concepts by considering a network structure that had optical node, light paths and optical fiber link along with the lambda and lambda 2 explanation. So in today's lecture, I'll hi highlight on the optical networking terminology. So this was basically taught in the previous class which was about the optical network structure. So now let's see what is optical networking terminology. See, a network utilizing an optical fiber as a transmission medium provides a connection between many users to enable them to communicate with each other by transporting the information from a source to the destination. So, it may also require an intermediate stage for processing the data and here that requires a single stage or sometimes a multiple stage for the control operation. So now let's see what basically is the optical networking terminology. So here we consider a network that employs the optical fiber for the transmission and the reception of data using the unidirectional or bidirectional transmission and this has to happen over the single optical fiber. Despite the differences in the optical transmission techniques, the fiber networking fundamentals will still remain the same. So in order to send and receive the messages across the optical network, a transmission path has to be created which was taught in the previous lecture and by establishing that we are required to switch or route the messages for the final destinations. The, pre the first one is called as the source node and the next node is called as the destination node. So in this the first topic is the network topology which can be of four categories. The first one is the bus, this is the bus, second is the ring, third is the star and the last one is the mesh type. So all the four network topologies have got their own importance. So now a network structure framed due to the interconnectivity pattern is called as the topology. So the first one I will consider as the bus topology and I will explain this now. So in the bus topology we understand that the data generally circulates bidirectionally. So here what you can consider is the bidirectional data transfer and here the data is input and remote from the optical fiber via a four, four port couplers located at the nodes. Here in this particular picture you can understand it is a four port network and in this the data is input and remote from the optical fibers via these ports located at the nodes. So the next one is called as the ring type. When you consider the ring configuration here the data circulates unidirectionally. So the previous one was the bidirectional and this is unidirectional. Here the data is being looped through the nodes at each coupling point and hence it is repeatedly regenerated in phase and amplitude. So the next one is called as the star. So in the star kind of a topology we understand that here there is a central hub to the network which may be either active or passive. First let me consider the passive operation. So here in this first can be passive and next is active. So in a passive operation the star coupler at the hub splits the data in terms of power so that the signal is transmitted to all the nodes and then overall losses therefore are primarily determined by the number of splits. So with an active hub in the next case the data is split in the optoelectronic star coupler which carries out both the conversions and therefore the process does not contribute to the overall network losses. In the passive there is overall network loss considered and in the active the overall network loss is not considered. And the last type is called as the mesh. So here the ring and star topologies are combined together and we call it a mesh configuration. This is to provide the interconnections among the network nodes. It is referred to as full mesh when each network node is interconnected with all the other nodes in the network. Therefore, the full network or the full mesh network configuration provides more interconnectivity than the all other topologies 
in the picture here that is mesh node happens to be the or the mesh type of topology happens to be the better one compared to the bus ring and star so the full mesh topology however although it is a complex one is often preferred for the provision of either a logical or a virtual topology due to its high flexibility and the interconnectivity features so i hope the optical networking terminology along with the network topology is clear to you all